what's going on guys welcome back to another video and in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to do this trippy distorted background effect inside of after effects so the first thing we want to do is duplicate our layer so i have this clip right here i'll just play it really quick uh it's just a simple uh, stock footage i have but uh i'm just gonna duplicate it so Control c Control v you can also duplicate it by doing Control d uh but yeah whatever you guys want to do so what you want to do is go onto your top layer here and go on to your rotor brush. So if you don't know where that is, it's just up here, a little rotor brush kind of tool and make sure it's selected, double click your layer. And what you want to do is just select your subject or whatever you're highlighting and just kind of make a rough sketch around them. And holding alt on your keyboard will deselect the uh, outside of the rotor brush. And then if you just left click and drag it'll select your rotor brush so try to get your subject kind of in the frame here or not in the frame in this selection also you want to have your quality on full i accidentally had it on quarter it's just going to make the rotor brush look a lot cleaner around the edges because it's going to be a lot higher quality and then what you want to do is just go along your timeline just kind of fixing parts of the rotor brush that got like messed up but I mean, it's probably decent. I don't want it to be a super long video of me just going through the whole process of just like fine tuning everything. So I'm just going to make it kind of rough. And just go ahead and hit freeze uh, right now. But what you guys want to do is make sure it looks good, obviously, for your video. So go ahead and go through all the frames, making sure it looks good. And then once you do that, uh, you want to hit freeze right here, what I already did. Uh, just hit freeze and it's going to freeze your rotor brush so you don't get anything like moving around later on while you're editing and adding your effects so yeah i'll get back to you once it's done all right so my rotor brush just uh got done freezing so i can just close this composition or this kind of panel right here uh just hit the x and it'll go back to your original composition and what we want to do is duplicate our bottom layer where we don't have the rotor brush one more time i'm just going to do Control d this time so now we have two blank layers of just our footage and on this middle layer right here this is where we're going to add all of our effects to so make sure that this layer is above this bottom layer and and uh below your rotor brush layer so we want to add the first effect which is displacement displacement map and as you saw in the title, all of these effects are built into After Effects, so there are no plugins needed for this. Uh, also, I'm just gonna drop this down the quarter because I don't need to view this in full 4K. But what I'm gonna do is bring this to zero, zero, and I'm just gonna add a keyframe here and then go along a few frames and then just bring it up to like 200. And you can already see that there's some displacement happening and I'm just going to go into my keyframes right here. If you hit U on your keyboard, it brings it up. And we can just mess with this to get some crazy effects. So the higher you go, the more crazy it looks. And you can also go negative, which will make it look the like opposite way. And I think that looks actually really cool. I'm just dragging it across. So it's at like negative a thousand right now. That looks super cool. Um, Obviously, these keyframes, I'm not really doing anything with them. I'm just kind of just trying to make it look sort of cool. But you can just go into your graph editor here, mess with it. So I'm just kind of playing around with the keyframes here. That looks pretty cool. Uh, it kind of eases out. So what we want to do now is add our next effect, which is the VR digital glitch. Another uh, built-in effect just drag it into your middle clip again and the settings we want to change for this is change this to the over under and then make our master amplitude 10 so now we have a bit of like glitching happening right here with a little rgb split uh it's just a subtle kind of effect but i think it looks a lot better and then if we want we can add a few other effects uh, this first one i'm going to add is turb you lint displace bring that onto our middle clip again and we can just make this amount 100 and then keep the size 100 
We could also blur it if like more if we want, but I'm just gonna keep it 100. And now if we play it back, it's like warped around everywhere. I like, I don't know, displaced, I guess. Uh, you could change this turbulent right here to like twist, uh, twist smoother. I don't know, there's a lot of different things. Horizontal displaced, but I'm just gonna keep, let, keep it at turbulent. And once again, you can keyframe this if you want. So you can have the amount of zero and then have it go to a hundred on your other keyframe here. There we go. So that's looking cool. And then the last thing we can add is optics composition, bring that onto our middle clip. And what this does is just uh, kind of messes with the FOV. And oh yeah, you want to check this reverse lens distortion. And then it like kind of brings the edges in kind of like fish eyed be like 50. So yeah, we can also keyframe this. So set that to zero, hit the little stopwatch here, go to where it, uh, the effect is like fully applied these keyframes and bring it to 50. There we go. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this. You can add like a lot of other effects, as I said, like glow or whatever. Um, but I don't really like the built-in glow effect and I'm trying to keep this all uh, built in. So obviously I don't want to add like Sapphire plugins or whatever, but yeah, the deep glow or not the deep glow, but the regular glow looks sort of nice. Um, I don't know. It, it's just not the best in my opinion. So I'm just going to leave that out for this tutorial. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know I haven't posted in a while. I've just been busy with school and also I've been working on other video projects for like my main channel uh, and a lot of stuff actually inside of Blender. So I'm trying to get better at that and hopefully maybe I could do tutorials in the future on that. But for now, I'm like currently looking at tons of tutorials trying to, I'm just trying to get a better understanding on how to use Blender. So once I get better at that, I may make tutorials in the future, but for now I'm just sticking to After Effects. But yeah, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and leave a comment down below if this tutorial helped you guys out. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.